Good afternoon, everybody. David Schuster here on the third hour of Take Action News. We Act Radio. So glad to have all of you on board. Coming up in just a couple of minutes, social media with Alan Rosenblatt. Somebody got fired this past week because of something they tweeted on behalf of their member of Congress. You don't want to miss that story. A special report coming up from <laughs> Alan Rosenblatt in just a couple of minutes. And by the way, since, uh, since coming up, we talk about social media. I want to go through a couple of stories before our syndicated stations join us in five minutes. A couple of stories that got a little bit of buzz on social media over the last couple of weeks. Dateline, Dublin, Ireland. Uh, Councilman in Kerry, which is in southwest Ireland, passed a motion over the past week asking the government to create a permit that would allow <clears throat> isolated farmers the ability to drink a few pints and then return home in their car or on their tractor without fear of being busted. Supporters of the measure say it is needed to combat an epidemic of boredom and depression on farms ever since Ireland imposed tough new blood alcohol limits on drivers in 2011, but the Justice Minister shot down the proposal saying it was grossly irresponsible. Daniel Marins, are they that bored in Ireland that they got a drink on the farms? It, uh, <laughs> David, it's, it's a question of preserving a local culture. I mean, um, Irish whiskey, as everybody knows, is, is a very fine, fine sort of uh, substance, as is Guinness. And I think we also need to account for the fact that the Irish are known to have higher tolerance. I mean, this is not, this is purely anecdotal and, in fact, probably a little bit backward and not empirically substantiated. But amongst my Irish American friends, there is sort of uh, that culture and, and that, that tolerance is high in the body. You know, another thing we have to account for, David, in Ireland is that they're experiencing horrible, horrible economic straits. Really, mm -hmm. I mean, they they drank the Kool Aid on on all everything that the neoliberal experts told them to do. They deregulated their markets, they let the banks run wild, they lowered the corporate tax rate to something like 11 percent, and uh, now they're engaged in austerity uh, on behalf of the European <laughs> Union. And how's that working for you? Well, <laughs> it sucks. It's really bad. Uh, my my advice is that instead of uh, taking action and trying to pass a law that allows you to uh, drink and drive your tractor, that maybe you should just invest in um, I don't know, like a satellite television or cable or whatnot, you can entertain yourself that way. By the way, here's another odd story, and this is one of the, uh, the weirdest and strangest stories that I've seen in several weeks. A prisoner at the Welicata Jail in Colombo, Sri Lanka, got into trouble this week after he attempted to hide a smuggled cell phone. He tried to hide a smuggled cell phone. The Agence France Press reports that the 58-year-old convict had concealed the phone along with a hands-free headset in guess where, Rich Webster? <laughs> Anybody want to guess? Mm -hmm. Alan, Alan Rosenblatt, you want to guess where this uh, where this man tried to hide his? Um, oh yeah, that's right. Where this where the sun don't shine? <laughs> he, try, he tried to hide it in his rectum, and the reason the reason that guards knew that he had tried to hide a cell phone and his hands free device in his rectum was because all of a sudden they started hearing <laughs> something going off. His phone went off. That's right. His phone started ringing. We don't have the ringing device here on my music, but his phone started ringing while it was in his rectum, and that's when guards knew he had smuggled the phone in his body cavity. Uh, he was taken to the local hospital uh, where uh, the, the, the local x-ray shows the uh, phone and handset in all their glory. Of course, there is uh, no clear indication what eventually happened to the phone in question. How was the reception? Uh, that's a good question. I'm not quite sure how the, uh, the reception was or whether he, maybe if he had it on speaker down there. But, uh, but in any case, um, phone in the rectum. You know, I, I've heard about all kinds of things that um, prisoners and people hired in the rectum, uh, drugs and all kinds of stuff. Um, this is the first, you know, I guess we got to give some credit to the, uh, to the telephone industry, Alan Rosenblatt, that they're making cell phones small enough these days that you can put them in places that you never thought it possible before. Yeah, I mean, they've had small phones for quite some time, but the, the fact that they're now smart small phones, um, although not smart enough to turn off when they're uh, in the wrong place. You know, I'm looking at this x-ray, and uh, by the way, it, we're not, when we're talking about phones and the type of phone, it's definitely not an iPhone. But it, and looking at this x-ray, it's not the smallest phone either. Um, okay. And it looks like it's, you know, it's got all like the keypad and everything. So um, <laughs> I'm just saying, I mean, you know, 
God bless this guy that hopefully he was able to uh, get out of this situation uh, with some health and uh, is not too psychologically damaged. And hopefully the guards who discovered that he had hidden this cell phone in his rectum, they're not uh, too damaged either. Uh, by the way, coming up in, uh, in about a minute, we're going to let our syndicated stations <laughs> join us. And uh, we'll talk about <laughs> what's been trending on social media in addition to butts in the phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good grief. With uh, with Alan Rosenblatt, who, of course, joins us a little bit early. Uh, always a pleasure to have Alan on board. And by the way, folks, if you want to um, subscribe to our show and get all these fun stories uh, at your convenience, go to our YouTube channel, Take Action News TV. There's a little subscribe function button there. Take Action News TV. You can get it on YouTube, or you can also go to TakeActionNews.com. There's an opportunity for you to sign up there or React Radio. We're going to pause in about 10 seconds and let our syndicated stations join us so that they can join in all the fun as well. Social Media with Alan Rosenblatt is coming up in just a couple of seconds. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. 